Uh, what's up investors so we know that um, SAP will be listing uh, SAP Zenzele Gabili those are going to be uh, B E shares I think it's broad based black economic empowerment shares so people have been talking about these shares uh, on social media talking about how they are going to take advantage of this uh, opportunity but uh, for most new investors in south africa retail investors most of us we use uh, easy equities as our broker there are reasons for it it's one of the affordable uh, brokers in south africa and also their platforms uh, well at least the website it's sort of easier to navigate so far personally as a easy equities client i'm happy with it unfortunately easy equities does not have a, a license for BE issues uh, trading hopefully in future that will be sorted out so that uh, most of us who are majority of uh, is equities users can be able to access the is equities shares through i mean to be able to access the BE issues through is equities so now because we can't use uh, is equities at this moment some of the other uh, avenues that we can try we can try uh, to use uh, FNB. I think it's called FNB Share Trader. For those who use uh, FNB, can share in the comment section what is their experience uh, with uh, trying to request that or place an order for BE shares. It it won't work for SAP shares because they are not listed yet. But if they have used the platform for other BE shares previously, maybe if you can just share your experience. In the description so that the other viewers can know uh, what's happening there at uh, fnp but also investec have said that they will offer these uh, be issues also if you have experience with uh, investec please share in the description another option that we have uh, is computer share okay besides fnp and investec and computer share there could be other uh, brokers that will be offering these shares so if you know the other brokers just be kind and share that information in the description below in the comment section so that uh, other people can have an idea so in this video what i'm going to do i'm going to attempt <laughs> to open an account with a computer share because not a lot of us have used a computer share before so i'm just going to try and navigate uh, through the computer share website and see how easy it is to navigate and perhaps even open an account so i don't know how it's going to work out it's an attempt if it work if it works great then that means that i will have an account to be able to trade be shares so i'm going to be it's like it's going to be a tutorial but it's an attempted uh, tutorial because it's the first time i'm doing it I've never used a computer share before other than just a quick browsing. So I will just be recording my screen as I'm doing that. If I'm stuck, I'll be stuck. If any one of you have done it already, please uh, feel free to share it with us so that it can make uh, the process easier for everyone. Uh, let us just uh, go to into it uh, and try and attempt to open an account with a computer share because personally, I'm going to attempt to buy these uh, SAP shares. So if I get uh, in, I manage to get in, uh, I mean to create an account and follow whatever procedure that computer share will advise me on, I'm going to try by all means to follow that uh, guideline and try to get this uh, SAP, South, Afri South African Breweries, uh, Zenzele Gabili, BE shares. Like I said before, this are meant for black people in south africa black people it's people like me who are black black and colors and indians and asians and everybody else who's not white that's the classification of black people in south africa so let's attempt to open that uh, computer share account okay uh this is where we are going to start so basically you can go to google and google uh, computer share 
this is the name of that uh, company that will be using computer share or as you can see here on top you just go to computershare.com so it should take you to a website that looks um, something like this uh, yeah so when you go to computer share the website look uh, something like this if you scroll down it says uh, welcome to computer share they say that they are leaders in financial administration there are a lot of options uh, up there at the top you can see there are many ways that they can help you but today we are interested in one way so you see that a uh, computer share they say that it's part of uh, computer share it's listed in the Aust australian stock exchange asx the share code is cpu so there are so many things that you can do in this website as you can see there's issuer services, custodial services, employee equity, proxy, custom engagement, and global market. So it's a whole lot of things. They say they, are, they have the expertise to do this job. They reach, uh, you can reach them worldwide. They have the technology and security, and there are a lot of uh, news going in there. So you can just browse in their website so that you can get more information about a uh, computer share on what is happening and you see they already have over 25,000 clients so I'm not sure if they're talking about investors or if they're talking about companies uh, that they share issuers so let's go to the order of the day I've already browsed this uh, website a bit so let's see if we say uh, open in a custody account if it's going to work remember I'm an individual I'm not opening this um, in the form of a business but here in a business i think it's more for people who want to issue not uh, for people who want to register or who want to buy shares on behalf uh, of their companies so let's first attempt on the individual tab and then say uh, create a custody account and then let's see what it wants from us okay so it says to open a custody and settlement account you have an opportunity to open a custody and settlement account for JSE. We already saw from the prospectus that the SAP shares will be listed in JSE. This is, we are interested in the JSE and A2X listed securities. So now let's see what's in there if we say uh, read more. So there's this option to open the account with them. So they say that you can open a custody and settlement account for the JC and A's listed and um, A2X listed shares. I don't know how much fees will be paying with a uh, computer share, but is equities is one of the most uh, affordable stock brokers. So the fees uh, might be different. That is something to keep in mind. Okay, so it tells you the documents that you will need because you will need to figure your account. Typically it's your it's a copy of your ID document and the proof of residence, right? You're a proof of resident. And then you will go here so that you know how and why you do the FICA verification. So there is this custody and settlement agreement for JSE listed as securities. And then there are some service fees. Also, there are terms and conditions. Make sure that you read uh, the terms and conditions so that in future you don't say that. Um, you didn't know what were the terms and conditions because I, I think the saying is that ignorance of the law is not an excuse. So if you don't read uh, the terms and conditions and in future you find yourself that you don't agree with the T's and C's, then there's nothing that they can help you with. They will enforce uh, those terms and conditions. Then there are some other additional documents uh, related to tax. I don't know what is this uh, FATCA, what uh, it entails. So let's try to download the custody and agreement form. Let's see how what it looks like. So basically, it seems like we can't uh, do it online. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, no, we can fill the form uh, online. So what you get here is that a custody and settlement agreement for a private investor. Remember, we are individuals, so we're investing in our capacity as private investors. So it wants uh, our details, you know yourself, check your tax number, the country where you live, and then you need to enclose a certified copy of your ID and the document issued uh, by SARS uh, to verify your tax. So you must try to find your tax return 
or something like that that has your your tax number i know a lot of people have got pay slips some pay slips uh, they cope uh, i mean they quote your tax number but they say they want a document issued by sars so maybe a uh, pay slip is not going to help us then you will fill uh, all our details here uh, including your employer details then you will fill uh, your banking details and then you will have to nominate someone uh, or if there's a nominee confirm that i'm not acting in the capacity of a nominee that intends uh, to hold on behalf of the owner uh, okay so you'll be doing yourself you will see whichever uh, applies to you which you have to tick uh, in there and then please note uh, nominee companies must be approved by fsca before any share account can be opened so yeah we are investing uh, in our individual cap uh, capacities i don't think that uh, applies uh, to us then if you want to receive annual report you can tick the box there if you are going to read that uh, annual report if you know that you won't read it just go to the company website and download the pdf so that you can save trees and print and ink everything that uh, is costly and uh, all the kinds of documents that you wish you can tick or if you do not wish uh, to receive those uh, report then yeah that's it you can tick uh, electronic communication it's year 2021 people please let's try by all means to save paper and ink and get uh, electronic communication then there is the option for custody service uh, selection so it says please tick the instruction as to the custody service to be rendered then you hereby, uh, hereby elect that your securities are held on your behalf and they must be registered in your name in the electronic register maintained by a computer share uh, proprietary ltd so your own name uh, custody service using computer share uh, dealing routine service and then you wish to maintain a direct relationship with the issuer so in this case the issuer is uh, sap so you want to have that direct relationship with sap as well and then it says Note that this option is only available to private individual shareholders who are resident in the common monetary area and are not immigrant holders of securities for the purposes of South African control regulations. So this is a PE transaction. I believe that it only applies to South Africans. So I don't think that a common monetary area, hopefully they refer to South Africa, but in terms of the exchange control regulations, yeah it's too deep for just something as simple as pe transaction and then the securities must be registered uh, in your own name in the sub register is, man is maintained by computer share and uh, using your own name custody service and utilizing my own broker for trading uh, purposes now in this case let's see this, we can't use our own broker for trading purposes because let's say, for example, I want to use my broker is equities. Is equities does not have PE shares. So I think the default option for this particular transaction will be to tick uh, this uh, first box, whereby we're saying that we'll be using computer share dealing routine because this one, I think it applies if I want to, I want computer share to keep records of my trades or of the shares that I own in my Easy Equities account or any other stockbroker account. So I think it's going to be this uh, option. Then there is uh, another different option. So if you have a different stockbroker like Easy Equities, then you can fill in this uh, information. So the client may request a primary participant to open one or more segregated uh, depository account. So I don't think that uh, applies to us because we'll be using a um, computer share for the dealing one, unless it means that uh, you are giving them a permission to open a broker for yourself. But you see now we don't need this uh, segregated uh, depository account. And also we don't need to appoint a secondary participant and if you have more than one SDA accounts from different ones, provided that the rules are stipulated in the rules of straight uh, PTY LTD. So straight, those are the security transfer. Whenever you buy and sell shares on is equities, there is a straight fee. So there's something that has to do with the registry of your shares. And then you have to declare in terms of foreign account 
compliance. So I think that uh, FATCA was for foreigners and OECD common reporting. Uh, so we are all South Africans. It's a PE transaction. It only applies to South Africans. So it's not something that uh, we should worry ourselves about. Then there is dividend tax. Most of the stocks that you own, they do pay dividends. Hopefully, the SAPs and Zelegabil shares will also pay dividends uh, in future. So now in terms of dividend tax, if you're exempt from dividend tax or you're subject to a different one, you need to complete this dividend uh, tax uh, declaration form. And then for PE shareholders, so this is where the rapper hits the road. This is our interest. That is why we are here. So we intend to purchase a PE shares. So you see, they say, please contact us to request the natural <laughs> English naturalization affidavit. So you need to fill in an affidavit that says that you qualify for PE transactions. So according to the South African regulations, you are a black person. So you're going to have to contact them so that you can get that uh, thing so that you can fill it in and then when the transaction is open to everyone then you can fill it then uh, okay this thing it doesn't move so let's clear it okay so there is stamp duty that's for people who live in uk we don't have stamp duty okay not to say that we don't have stamp duty it does not uh, apply to us then there's client uh, due diligence in terms of uh, FICA. So the nature of business activity. So let's look at the selections that are there. So it will depend if you are going to be making a once-off transaction or it's going to be an ongoing uh, trading. Remember that these uh, Zenzele Gabili shares, they are different from the first SAP BE shares that had the 10-year lock-in period these ones will be trading daily on the exchange. So if you know that you will be trading regularly uh, between 150,000, you can tick that uh, ongoing trading. Or if you are, have deep pockets and you'll be trading 50,000 and above, then you can tick uh, that option as well. Then there is an other uh, option. Then you have to specify what kind of trading that you will be using. So I can't decide for you. It's you who know if you'll be doing a once-off sale or you'll be doing a regular trading, getting in and out, or you'll be adding into your existing position. Because say, for example, you can just put off a lump sum, whatever amount that you want to put as a lump sum, invest it, forget about it for however you decide to forget about your investment. Or if you don't have a lump sum, maybe you can buy a thousand rent worth of shares uh, today. And then as time goes by, let's say you deposit regularly per month, then you probably need to take that you, it's going to be an ongoing uh, trading. Then depending on the amount that you are planning to trade, if it's less than 50,000, you're going to take uh, option two. If it's greater than 50,000, you will have to take uh, option three. Then in terms of the source of funds, you know where your money is coming. If you're employed, you're going to take a salary. If you'll be using dividends from your other investments, there's a dividend option, there's rental income. If you're going to sell some of your shares or you'll be receiving some money in your other investment or you have some interest that you'll be receiving or any other form of income, you're just going to be, uh, you're just going to declare that if you choose add. Then now there is a, a screening declaration. So here in this uh, screening declaration, do you occupy a prominent uh, public official position? Okay, I guess if you work for a, go a government so uh, or perform a public function at a senior level. For, a, for instance, domestic prominent influential person or foreign prominent uh, public position. So I hope that most of my viewers uh, are not president of the country. The president is still President Ramaphosa. But in terms of uh, higher or senior level, I don't know how government works. If you are a director level and upwards, 
I don't know whether the senior level uh, begins at, but whichever applies to you, you will tick that. Personally, well, I'm not a government employee, so it's a no for me. Some of that does not apply. And if you have family members that are associated or close to these uh, senior people in the public sector, you're going to declare that as well and provide uh, their details as well. And then there are some sanctions list. Uh, have you ever appeared on any sanction list in an anti-money laundering or counter-terrorist? Uh, as South Africans, we are kind people. We don't fight anyone. I hope that none of you have been found on counter-terrorist financing or anti-money laundering. So they just want to check if you not uh, use this platform for money laundering purposes. So if you don't have sanctions, you tick no. Have you ever been uh, associated with any adverse or negative media published in the public domain? <laughs> I hope that you guys are not uh, celebrities because if you're a celebrity, they write a lot of nonsense about you. But if it's just nonsense that can't be proven, then it's just nonsense, that's it. So you're going to tick uh, no there unless it, uh, yes applies to you. Uh, so you see, if you're a non-resident client or you're a resident of the following countries, okay, we are all residents of South Africans. The purpose of this is PE transactions. And then you undertake to forthwith inform a computer share in writing should the circumstances change. So if ever in the future you would like to be a Cuban citizen or you work for a government, then you have a responsibility to notify a computer share that uh, things have changed. And then you're going to sign uh, the form as it is. So it's not something that can be done online. I think uh, for now, we will be using this form to fill up uh, our details and then send uh, the form to computer share. Already people have been saying that uh, they are struggling. They've been put on hold when they were calling. I don't know if they were calling computer share or if they're calling other companies. So at this moment, there's a high volume of applicants. So don't expect a quick uh, turnaround time because as you can see, it looks like it's a, it's a manual application unlike where you have a, a form to fill online and all your information is captured immediately and you can upload some documents that are verified uh, electronically so that you can get a quick uh, turnaround time. So now just a, a quick summary of what you need uh, to do in order to open your computer share account for BE transaction. As I said, you go to Google, you Google a uh, computer share, or you just go to computershare.com. Make sure that you are in the South African version of the website. Once you are there in the South African version of the website, uh, you go to individuals. Once you are at individuals, then you go to open a, a custody account of which it will bring you back into this uh, page where we were at. Then you just have to scroll down there until you go to JSE and A2X listed securities. Uh, there are many other options there at the bottom. We're not changing our personal details. We're not updating our banking details. We're not opening a tax-free uh, investing account. For those who use equities, is equities. We already have tax-free savings account with is equities. So you go to the JSE and A2X uh, listed account. When you click uh, on read more, then there's an option to open an account with them today. You want to open it now, now. Then the documents that you will be needed, like I said, copy of your ID, uh, proof of residence, and you need to try and find uh, that uh, SARS document that they want. So you see, they say before you trade shares, that have to be dematerialized into straight. Uh, your account must comply with FICA, which is Financial Intelligence uh, Center Act. Then you need to email your certified FICA verification document to this uh, email address. Yeah, we'll be doing a lot of work here. It's not going to be easy. Then the FICA verification, many of the requirements of the KYC or know your client provision of FICA can cause some challenges for investors. So to simplify, you need to submit uh, the documents. So the documents that they require, it's the proof of residence, 
uh, if you are competing or fat and set or cohabiting, you may need this form, but most of you are married. Okay, married people, they are cohabiting because you live with your spouse. So you need a proof of residence. And if this uh, applies to you, you need to fill that as well. And then for individual investors, there is a form that you have to get verifying that your account is for a private uh, investor. If you want to open an account for a minor, uh, a minor is somebody that is below the age of 18. So individual investor, that is where you're going to get uh, for the FICA requirements. So let's see. Uh, it's a couple of things that you have to tick. All of these things are the things that you're going to tick when you open that uh, custody settlement agreement for JSE. So basically, that's where you're going to find. So make sure that you find this form, you fill it, and also you fill this form. Then you copy, you add in your certified copy of your ID, your proof of residence, uh, if the cohabitant uh, form applies to you, you attach that form as well and everything that they require. Then you send it. Uh, let me see where's the email address. But for the FICA one, there is an email address the, that they gave there. Where to send um, this PDF file? Please share with everyone in the comment section. But for now, let us worry about uh, filling that form, ensuring that the form is filled. You filled uh, all the other required uh, documents. Once you have all those documents, you can consolidate them. Hopefully by then we will have an email address. If I so just go to individuals, open a custody account and scroll down there until you reach the point where you have to uh, open an individual account. Yeah, it's really not... Uh, a smart website. This is where you're going to find that uh, PDF file. And then you open an account. How long it's going to take, I don't know, but just uh, be patient. So this is the form that uh, we need. Maybe I should download this form and save it on Google Drive. Then you can just uh, go to Google Drive and download this form instead of looking for it. I think that's a uh, the easier way uh, to get it. So you don't have to worry about uh, looking for it. So these two forms, I will leave a link uh, where you will find them on Google Drives. It's either you're going to download it on the computer share website, or you're going to get the form on Google Drive so that you don't spend uh, time looking for this form. That's it for today. I hope that uh, this will be helpful for some of you. I mean, it can't be that uh, difficult to fill in the form. We've already browsed uh, through the form and saw what kind of information that is expected there. If you find uh, any challenges, try to contact a computer share so that they can help you. At least the telephone number is available there, but a lot of people have said that they've been on hold for quite some time. So I don't know if you call them, if you're going to get uh, assisted immediately. But uh, this form, I will put it on Google Drive. The link uh, onto that uh, form, you will find it there uh, on YouTube in the description. So yeah, let's try to fill in this thing and see if we can get our account ready for the day uh, of listing. Let's make sure that uh, our accounts are opened and ready when they list the shares, we'll be able to log in and place our buy and sells. Okay, for now we'll just be buying. So that's it. Uh, and then if you found uh, this whole exercise useful, please click uh, the like button. If you haven't subscribed uh, to the Trend Trader channel, please uh, subscribe. We have a lot of other things other than BE shares and computer share information. We still uh, analyze the stock market. We look at uh, South African shares. We look at US shares. Sometimes we cover commodities, price, uh, precious metals. Uh, I don't trade Forex a lot, but sometimes I do touch a bit of it. I touch a bit of uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general. So if you want to receive a lot of this uh, thing on your YouTube channel, 
I mean, from this YouTube channel, <laughs> just uh, subscribe uh, to our channel. Let me show you where to find uh, our channel. So once you are on YouTube, you need to search uh, for Trend Trader. Then once you found us, you need to click the subscribe button and click the notification icon so that every time when we post the video, you will get a notification whenever you go to your YouTube app to see that uh, the Trend Trader channel has um, added the video. So yeah, if you can just uh, do that, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notification. And for this particular video or any other video that you'll be watching from us, if you find it useful, just click uh, that uh, like function. So my internet is a bit slow. So you just uh, search Trend Trader, as you can see there. Well, my one is going to be quick because I've already subscribed uh, to this channel. So you see there is a trend trader there. Once you see this channel, trend trader, you go to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, my one is already saying subscribe. You click subscribe. This is the bell uh, notification. You click it so that every time you can get notification if you upload the video. And just to make sure that they've got plenty of videos why you should invest, which companies can pay you quarterly dividends, the, divide, uh, the tobacco stocks. We are bullish on gold and iron ore stocks. Why investing carries risk because investing does carry risk. And also a stock that you can buy in order to receive monthly dividends. We've got a whole lot of videos. And if you scroll down there, there is Mzans Investor. If you are a big fan of dividends, that is where in this channel, Zans Investor, we only talk about dividends. We don't talk about anything. We just talk about a passive income. So make sure that you subscribe uh, to that channel as well and you click the bell uh, notification. So I think uh, we've spent a lot of time on this today. So try to get this form, fill the form. We'll find the email address of where we'll be sending this form and send our forms and try by all means to open our account before the listing. So that's it. Mm -hmm.